<laughs> How y'all doing? I'm Chris and well a while back I pretty much found the mother load of stick insects. It's practically an invasion. See for yourselves. Check this fellow out. He really looks like a twig. I mean he's even got little joints and imperfections in them the same way branches and twigs do. This is a male of one of our native species of praying mantis, and they are definitely smaller than the European and Chinese praying mantises, especially the males. Well, I just found another phasmid near this park building, and it's covered in cobwebs and trying to walk, so I'm gonna try to help out here and untangle it. This is hard though, I gotta be really deliberate yet delicate so I don't pull off a foot or something. This poor animal probably thinks I'm trying to eat it. There you go, little one. Be free. I just found this one in my tent. I mean, these things are all over the place right now. These roots totally look like a dragonfly. You've got the wings, the thorax, and a long abdomen. Obviously, these two northern walking sticks are mating. They're making twigs. You may notice the male is much smaller than the female. There's an advantage to the female being larger. It allows her to manufacture more eggs, or larger eggs, within her body. Therefore, she can reproduce more abundantly. When it comes to arthropods, male reproductive organs are more complex and larger in comparison to the rest of the body than those of the female. And as a side note, that ratio is much larger in arthropods than in mammals. So, much of their nutritional intake is dedicated to developing reproductive organs instead of overall body mass. I wish to add a personal theory I have, and that is that when males reach maturity, they tend to focus more energy on finding mates and spreading their genes than they do on finding and consuming food. I imagine a smaller body would be an advantage because it must require less fuel to operate whereas females often eat right up to the moment of fertilization. Heck, the males of all sorts of creatures will even bring an offering of food on the date in order to entice the female to be more, well, romantic. Anyhow, this is pretty exciting. I mean, I can't get any sleep. It's 4.30 in the morning, and I find this pleasant surprise. Not 20 feet from my tent, nonetheless. Well, this rain is making the insects a lot more obvious because they're all hanging on the undersides of the leaves taking shelter. There are so many more than I thought. There's one there. One here. One there. There's two more over here. That's so cool. Okay, so last night I find a root that looks just like a dragonfly. This one looks like a person. I mean, you imagine a face right there in the end. In fact, I see two eyes and a mouth. Did somebody put those there? Seriously, I'm not lying. There were stick insects everywhere, 
and the rain definitely made it a lot easier to find them because they were simply taking shelter on the underside of the beech leaves. But if you like these kind of animals, you really need to check out this video somewhere around here on my Vietnamese stick insects because for starters, their eggs are the coolest eggs I have ever seen and they have an incredible adaptation. Secondly, the insects themselves look like aliens. I mean, they have saws for legs, their face looks like, you know, predator, and uh, you gotta check out the video. Um, but while you're at it, please hit subscribe on my channel if you haven't already, and definitely like and comment on this video because this time of year, my channel is suffering. <laughs> so uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'm Chris Ignato, and I'll see you somewhere else some other time.